Hi tech friends, welcome back to the channel. I just received the new firmware upgrade for the VR S9 Ultra with Android and cellular connection. They changed it and added some new features. We will go through here in a minute, but there are two things that I find out that you need to be aware of. Now, before continue, let me tell you something. In it is that last week I couldn't upgrade to the version that they released, and that is because when I was looking for that new version, they closed it because too many complaints of the users. So I don't know what they add in that upgrade last week. Sorry about that. But in this one, I noticed that we can with split screen. If we go from bottom to top, now we get into the apps uh, open in the background. You can close them sliding like this or all at once touching that icon in the corner. It will tell you how much uh, memory release. But if you remember, before you had to press the button and hold it for a second and it was right here in the corner now the interface looks different from here all you can do is uh, shut down the device uh, reboot it or make an emergency call so they switch this right here if we go to apps uh, i see they changed the flashlight icon they added uh, the blood oxygen uh, monitoring it seems like we had new options right here on the compass with touch it will switch the style not only that right here you will be able to switch uh, between different colors that will offer you so pretty cool now we can with sedentary reminder you will have to activate it and select the intervals before we used to count with only two wallpapers for uh, the apps background now we have this third one right here in case you want to select it i will leave it on this one I like how we can do zoom out, zoom in with our fingers. And another cool feature that many of you were asking is here. If we go on settings, now display, we go all the way to the bottom here on uh, sleep time. Now you can go from 50 seconds to 30 minutes, but they add this new option right here, never. Yes, that way if you select it, the screen will never go off. Yep, it will remain on all of the time. Now, be careful with this feature because you already know how the batteries are on Android smartwatches. But many were asking about this feature and it's here. Now, let's talk about those very important details that you need to be aware of. Number one is that once you upgrade and the smartwatch restart, you will have to use your password again because it will be logged out not only that but on your applications the ones you download like whatsapp messenger facebook tiktok whatever they will be deleted you will have to download those again yes this will be very annoying for a lot of you but i'm just warning you now very important i have noticed i was making the video for my other channel in spanish First, let me select a, a different time. I will tell you here real soon why. If I go here and uh, on uh, languages, select Spanish this time. There we go. Now let's go on display settings. It's right here, screen, advanced feature. This one, look, if I set up the smartwatch in Spanish, the always on display feature doesn't appear yep i cannot select it because it's not here please let me know if in your language if it is not english it show you the option to never the screen goes off or like in spanish it doesn't now let's uh, switch it to english again and let me show you something here perfect it's already in english let me go again here turn on the always on display never for the screen never goes off huh? And if I leave it on and now switch it to Spanish, I don't know if it will work the same in a different language, but let me show you here real quick. Perfect, it's in Spanish already. If I go on screen and try to go on advanced feature, when I touch on it, it won't let me. It will only say open the app again. Something went wrong, open the app again. 
open or close the app. So if you go on English and turn the always on display on and then switch it to a different language, yes, the screen will remain on, but when you try to go to the screen settings and try to go on advanced to switch it again, it won't let you. At least this is in Spanish. Let me know in your language. Other than that, you already see the new features we have about uh, refresh rate still going real smooth. I don't know why some people complain that it's a very slow smartwatch. I think they got a different model and then they see this video and see the smartwatch is very similar and they just leave their comment. But uh, as far as I know, in my opinion, the smartwatch goes real smooth. Well, and you can see right there on the video. Now, I hear about many were complaining about notification banner on the last uh, upgrade. Like I said, I didn't have it, but let me show you here real quick. Uh, this is how it will look this time. There we go. In case the banner is gone, now you just uh, swipe down and it will be right here. You touch and you can go straight to the conversation. And now that we here, let me show you something here real quick. Uh, I removed the smartwatch from the charger at 5 p.m. and right now it's 1.40, almost 2 o'clock, 20 more minutes of course. So it being 8 hours with 40 minutes and I still having 24% of the battery. I've been using the brightness right there where you see and 15 seconds on the screen time. I've been sending and receiving voice messages through WhatsApp and Messenger. To be honest with you, this is the first time that this smartwatch lasts me this long. But I will keep testing it. And well, the friends, with that being said, please take care and I'll see you in the next one.